Traffic Big Street. I'm Corinne Man Malu Lukele. That's better. Days like this, you just want to be inside. That's why later on, I'm catching up with Ada Si Palalangi in her home studio. All right, Ipuki guys. Yo, Kataki. I'm Kalia, and if it isn't cold enough outside, later on I'm jumping on the ice to check out ice hockey. Don't forget you can watch us 24-7 right here. Now, who's down for Monopoly? Hey, oh. Sunga, maybe like back in the 1980s? What's up, I'm Sammy, and today I find out what all the fuss is about with the anti-shaking campaign. So I'm gonna catch up with my girl, Paula Bennett. As for music, I meet the brothers of Babylon Rhythm at Tamaki College. Hmm. If you're on Facebook, add us as a friend. What's up, Nusila? I'm Mike, and guys, guys, guess what my story is this week? Oh, oh three words. First word, the Morning. mummy. Come on. Tree hut. Um, shh, Kalia. Shh, shh. Um, saw four. Ah, uh, nah. I'm off to meet a group of guys that made the angel wings in the Vintner's luck. See you. Technology. Movies can be awesome and have amazing effects, but have you ever wondered exactly how things are built to look so real on screen? Today we find out the true secrets to the making of the angel wings on Winter's Luck. What hasn't happened yet? And this night next year, maybe we'll twist your marriage. Aotearoa, meet Justin from Glass Hammer Effects. Now, bro, you gotta tell me, what kind of bird you guys killed to get these from? Uh, it's a very rare albino uh, eagle. You lied to me. It comes from the <laughs> South Island. <laughs> No, they were actually sculpted. Each one is individually sculpted. On the wings, how many feathers like this are there? Approximately 90 uh, fake feathers and an unknown quantity of real feathers, thousands. How long does it take you to make one of these? About eight weeks. Eight weeks? From the sculpting stage through to casting, yes. So if we go right back to the beginning, can you show us how you made these? Indeed. Come over here, I'll show you. These are two of the formers from the uh, primary feathers left and right. One detail you can pick up from these are the actual lines in the blades. So did you individually do each line on this? Each line's individually filed. If you see on uh, both sides, uh, we have the, the sculpted the top side, so the tops yep. are, are, have been filed. And then there's a separate former for the ventricle side, and they've all been individually filed too. This is one of the hero molds. What's this made out of? This is a uh, just a silicon. Uh, platinum silicon. Basically, we painted a very thin layer of the of the resin into both sides of the mold. Then we laid in our, our spine, and then uh, the organza silk would go Sixteen. on top. And then the top of the mold would get down and would be compressed and clamped onto there, and all the excess resin would come out of these channels. All the stuff here on the feathers. Is that made intentionally as well? Yep, the deterioration was all sculpted afterwards and the shapes were cut. Sweet as, thanks for that, bro. Pleasure. That's the feathers. Let's find out how the mechanics of the wings actually work. New Zealand, meet Harry, who was originally given the project for making these wings. Now, you, Harry, have worked in the film world for quite a while. Yes. What yeah. are some of the projects out there that New Zealand might know? Key grip on Lord of the Rings. A grip is essentially the onset mechanic. Now, Harry, from start to finish, how long did it take to complete the wings? Asked about it. Finishing was four years. Four years? Yeah, yes. OK, Harry, talk me through some of the prototypes and how they worked. The idea that why this might work at all is a thing called an air muscle. These things are like rubber tubes, and when you pump air into them, they shrink like that. Right. And that's very much like a biological muscle. And this is the, the first prototype. So after this prototype, yes. then you into this? We have the shoulder here now, then we have the forearm, and these are the muscles that will stretch it out, and these are the other ones that tend to shut it up. And then we've got muscles here to control the, the outer end. And then when you get right out to here, as it comes out, all of the feathers stretch out like that to give you that fully extended kind of look. Awesome. Well, I've seen the biomechanics of the wings and the making of the feathers. Mm. Can we see the wings in actual movement? I think we should give it a go. Yeah. We're off to Tonga. <laughs> so this is what it really feels like to be flying. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, if you do, you'll have to put a bit more effort into it. We'll see, how, see if you can get off the ground. <laughs> <laughs>
Look, I want to thank you, Harry. No, it's been great. Well, thank you. And Justin and all the guys here for showing us how they made these magnificent pair of wings. Just goes to show Kiwi ingenuity is still the shiz in the film industry. See you later. All right, guys, guess this movie. Yeah. Monkey. Oh, oh no, no, bunny <laughs> rabbit. Um, met someone. Uh, Mike. Whale well, well, rider. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Shot cousin. All right, now my turn. No, no, no. We gotta look at Facebook families. Let's have a look. Oh, hi, you too, Kareem. Okay, I'll tell Sam not to botsu. Hey, sorry, Nutsy, don't you rig of us? You know, the cool thing about our next artist, C. Balalangi, is that she uses Facebook comments to create her art. How cool is that? I know. Fashion. She's causing waves in the printmaking world with her unusual take on the art form. So I've brought your Facebook comments to take to our sister to see what lights her spark. What's up, girl? Hi. <laughs> How did you get into this whole kind of genre of art? It started since high school. I excelled in the printmaking subjects out of all the art subjects I was doing. What art school did you go to? Um, I went to Elam, which is at Auckland University. Now, can you tell us what we're going to be doing today? Um, yes, we're going to be doing some silk screen printing um, mixed in with drawing and mixed media. It's the kind of stuff that you see people do on t-shirts and there a lot now? Yeah, and that's usually the first question people ask me. They're like, oh, Subji, oh, make me a t-shirt. I'm like, I don't do that kind of... <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> do you have any major themes that go through all of the prints that you do? I'll look at um, a hiapo that's been in a... It's held in a museum. Oh, hiapo is the new way in term for tapa. I like siapo. Yeah. <laughs> So you take your traditional Nguyen roots and try and fuse it into what's happening in today's context? That's where um, I've started bringing in language and text into the work. Why is it important to you to use language and text? We spend a lot more time on the computer, on the phone. We've constantly got our head down texting or reading something. And so that's what made me want to put that in, onto the work. How does that constitute being art? Because I can see like tougher designs and say, oh yeah, that's art because it's beautiful and it's about our culture. Art is kind of like a visual record of something and text messaging and slang language like um, sup bro, things like that. <laughs> it's only going to be current for, you know, maybe a year or a few months and then next there's going to, people are going to be saying something else or texting something else. Like instead of tomorrow, people will, t will say tomorrow's. Yeah. And I'll be like, what? How, how do you get that from tomorrow? Yeah. And so I'm just recording what language is being used now. Yeah, yeah. Looks wicked. Well, we just want to say thank you so much, C, for letting us all be part of your message today. And if we want to find out more about seeing what she does, check out this website right here. So, do I get to sign somewhere? Because I held the hedra. Yes, sure. <laughs> oh, that's oh. <laughs> You're right. If you want to win this $50 warehouse voucher, just answer this question. What school is Babylon Rhythm from? Text PBS space in your answer to 244 and you can have this. Now after the commercial breaks, I catch up with Paula Bennett and later on we got Babylon Rhythm here at the Fale. And I jump on the ice with captain of the Ice Blacks, Corey Down. Snap it, the